You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for an ant colony. Why do I say time? Because we have live ants to put in here. They're fascinating, exciting, and educational. See that on the bottom of the box? So it contains the ant colony, the eyedropper feeder, the special tunneling sand, instructions, the stands, the food, and then a redemption coupon for ants. Well, this is too old to get a redemption coupon. It's found at the Salvation Army for $2.50. And when I saw it and looked in the box, let me show you that. Take the cover off here. It was all there. So imagine that. Someone bought the ant farm and just left it like that. Never did anything with it. Had all the pieces, the instructions. Yeah, it has the instructions on how to set it up and what to do. Uh, the bag of sand you need. Uh, this cool little booklet here. It says award-winning toys. So it shows you the other toys in this series. There you go. The popular mechanic set. I always like looking at old toy brochures. The sand art. Oh, I remember sand art. Never did, I haven't done one of those in a very, very long time. I was a little kid. Pottery wheel. The rock tumbler. Always fascinated by rock tumblers. The bedazzler. Come on. You've heard of these, right? Plastic molding set. The bead dangler. The bead maker. So this is from the 90s. The Smithsonian Crystal Growing Kit. And that's point, point fatler, what does that say? Point something roll. Point, I can't even read it. Point, oh, paint, rattle, and roll. Wow. Look at the font on that. Oh, now I can see it in the camera better. Uh, paint and swirl. Don't know about that. There's the ant ranch. There's the wood burning kit, the kindergarten blocks, and then Merlin's magic set. That is cool. So from the 90s. And all complete. And the, the food. And then the box. So let's get the box out of here. Why are we going to do that? Because we're going to set this up. Yeah, we're going to make an ant farm right now. So let me go over the instructions with you. Okay, so starting. Here's an ant resort colony city. So we actually have the colony. That's the resort and then that's the ant city, different shape and design. We have the one in the middle, the colony. Introduction. Okay, so I'm not going to actually read all this. What is an ant? Metamorphosis of an ant. The queen. Okay. Special note. It's against federal law to ship queen ants. So these are harvester ants. And then starting your ant resort. Step one. Turn ant resort colony upside down and remove base. Well, maybe I should do get that going. Insert tweezers through base to plug hole and prevent sand from entering the top half of the module. For Ant City, place tweezers through top opening down through... Okay. Remove sand from bag. Pour sand through base opening. Pour between 1.5 to 4 ounces of water into sand per module. Okay, so we have one module, so we can do that. Now look at that. It's from the 90s, and it's still sealed. So let me get my trusty cutting device here. I know, everybody's going to say, looks like you're going to cut yourself. Well, I won't. Well, let's just take a quick look at this. And you want me to cut more, huh? No, I'm not going to cut myself. So there it is. The top comes off, the bottom comes off, and that's where the sand... And this lock, this should lock in so your ants can't get out, see? So once that's locked in, they are in. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to actually fill this bottom half with the sand. And let's see, the back side. So the back side's a piece of cardboard. So let's get going here. Oh, by the way, let's look at the ants, huh? Now, you cannot put the ants in right away. The reason is... You have to refrigerate them, because right now, this is how it came in the mail. Just a brown envelope with this piece of paper, and there they are. So I'm, uh, I'm thoroughly intrigued by this project. See them there? So you put them in the refrigerator for a half hour to slow them down, because they're worried you're going to, um, they're going to bite you when you put them in. So you have to 
um, slow them down and then put them in through the top section of this and then they will eventually warm back up. So when I was reading the instructions here, there's little air holes on the top, along the top. So they want you to do this. And then I noticed, if you look on the instructions, it says, insert those tweezers. So we're going to make this upside down because we want to put the sand in just the bottom half. Then you take your tweezers and you insert them. This is new, okay? I've never done this before. So let's see. Yeah, that's the hole. They don't fit very well in there, but we'll jam them in. There you go. So not too hard. You probably get a little sand in there. But see now how it's... Uh, oh, that's a weird reflection. See how that's in there now? So now we can actually fill this section. So let me uh, let me do something here. Let me get reset up, get the sand in a bowl, and get my scooper ready. And we'll fill it all up. Hold on. All right, I'm all set. Had this handy little plastic tray, so I'm going to use that to keep the sand in check, you know. And then there was these instructions with the ants. It says, do not touch these ants. They are for observation only. The harvester ant can inflict a painful sting. Instructions, wow, so all the different stuff. Putting the water in the sand. Do not fill your viewing container too full, too full with sand. Leave the sand layer between a half to a quarter inch below the top level so the ants can find the hole in the lower level. That's a little different than the one we have. So now here's my sand, transferred it from the bag, and I've got this little scoop. So we're going to do that now. So here I go. So as you can see, I need to fill this with sand. Let me just do one more quick adjustment here, because I don't have the right angle to see this just right. So now remember, those tweezers are in there, so it kind of blocks the hole. You're going to get some, but... The idea is just so that you can keep most of the sand in this other section. So we'll just keep filling. Now the ants are in the refrigerator. So they are starting their chill down process. Poor guys had to uh, be shipped here in Illinois so they were already pretty cold and then the drive home they warmed up a little. I would say we're close there. Let's see if we can tap it down. So they do want to leave a little room, but that might be a little too much. That's like a half an inch. So we'll get some more all around here. Okay. So I'm glad I had that tray there. So some's getting through, but that's all right. Because so eventually now, I could probably do it now, we're going to slip this back on and lock that into place so that the sand stays in, see? And then I'll have to pull that tweezers out, which could be right now, actually. Because the next thing now is for me to add the water and actually put the ants in. But I'm gonna have to take a break for that, right? They're still chilling. So now let's see the water. Okay, so now we've got that set. I'll probably have to flip it again. Do, 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 do. Okay, so pour between, okay, so remove sand from bag, pour sand through base opening, pour between one and a half to four ounces of water into sand per module. So let me just do that now. Just un get a little view there. Let's put this back in as a safety. You could see that the sand went through. Okay. Stop leaking. So the water. Now I have four ounces now, so what I'll do is I'll just bring it in here. So they need some wet sand. Oh, you know what? There was this little water thing here, so we'll just do that. You can kind of see how it starts to wet there. Now the sand is so that they can, uh, the, the actual tunnels that they make stay solid because it's they need to be wet. If they're dry, it's no good. Kind of see what it's looking like now? I got to try to kind of keep the angle just right here. 
Let me see if I can raise the camera a little bit for you. Got to put that down. There you go. Let's do this. Let's get that. Let's get that. And let's go. This is all new to me, okay? Never done this before. Plus, they're little creatures, so I want to make sure I do it right. I don't want to mess them up. So it's soaking through real good now. Just going to keep wetting. Now I had four ounces of water to start with. I don't want to just pour it in because then it's, it could be a big mess. And they said you don't want it to be... You see how it's almost making its own channels now just from the water? So this will be one of those videos where I'll start this process and then come back and show you the ants and what they build. Once you get them in there, it's going to take a while. I think we're close. It's that nice, wet consistency. And now if you look at it, let me see if I can show you. See, it's still a little dry along here, but I think there might be just enough water in there that if I just hold it, it'll eventually... Um, Let's do a few more. I think we're good now. Now we're good. All right, so that's that. We have wet sand. Our ant colony is ready. Let's make sure that is in there good. That's got to really lock in there. Okay, good. So there you go. We now have wet sand and the mess wasn't too bad. Just a little bit of sand and water in the tray. So definitely a recommendation if you're going to do something like that. And we could pull our tweezers now officially because the next thing to do is to put the ants in there. So I'm going to come back, show you them after they've been in the fridge and then we're going to put them in. All right. This is the top piece again. So there we go. I'll get that perfectly in place. I'm excited. Are you excited? This is going to be a fun one. Well, there you go. We're all set now. I just got to put the ants in there. So for me, it's about 20 minutes. For you, it's just going to be a quick flash. Okay, we're all set. I'm going to move the ants in here so you can kind of see now that they have completely, they're moving, but very slow. So we need to get them in this thing as quick as possible. So caution, yes, lots of cautions with these ants. So I'll take this top off. And now we can just gently put them in there. They're waking up really fast. Come on. Just let them crawl down. They are now crawling, so I'm just going to kind of hold it there and let them get in. Let me just set that and get that turned down a little. There we go. Get in there. Lost two. They said, don't worry about it. Don't pick them up. Just let them do their thing. There you go. So now you can scoop them up. They said, don't scoop them up with your hands. Just get a little paper. They're going right back in the tube. The other ones are working their way down. So these guys will do the same thing. Okay, got one. So we had three strays. Get in there. Get in there. He was hanging on for dear life. Okay, so it looks like we got them all. Ooh, two more. Ooh, they're okay. They look very sluggish. Get in there. Let's just do that. Come on. He's definitely sluggish. So they woke up really quick. Let's make sure one more time. Hey, that guy's still. And look, he's got his pinchers out. See him? So he is mad. You could just tell. He's ready to fight. 
Come on. Come on, buddy. You're not playing fair. Right, you want to go in? Go in. Get in there. Get in there. Good. Okay. We got them all. Let's seal them back up. Okay, so now, look at what they're doing. So let me put that there and kind of zoom in. Lighting seems to be a little off there. So as you can see now, let me get my pointer. Where they're all right now is exactly where the hole is. Right here. Where the hole was for the sand. So they're going to have to work their way now. And they're moving around. I might have to make an adjustment there. Because you, the sand, when you put the water in, it should have had a little more gap there. All right, So I can probably push this through there. But let's just uh, let them do their thing for a little bit and see if they start to work, wake up a little. That was pretty neat when they were coming out of the tube. It was almost instant. They warmed up. So I'm going to walk away. Probably for, I don't know, five minutes. And I'm going to actually leave the room, okay? And go do something. Alright, so when I came back, I realized that they just didn't have enough room to get down. So I just gently tapped it, and that sand did shift. So now, they're actually moving down to the lower level much easier. And they were doing a pretty good job at digging their way through. So I cut all that video out, and now you can kind of see them moving around there. Let me just get this set right about there. Get it just right. So now I'm going to leave you with that and start over this time, all right? Okay, so I've moved the camera in here. We're going to wrap this video up. I know it's been quite long, but uh, you've seen the whole process of setting up the ant farm. And uh, a little blurry there when I was putting the ants in. Sorry about that. Just, you know, a little nervous, actually, to make sure I did that right and didn't want any just running up my arm there and chewing on my neck or anything. So this one here is actually sitting on a piece of food. No, I wasn't worried about that. This one here is sitting on a piece of food. They're all a little lax right now. But there was a hole. They started a hole right here, so this is where they've been digging. And then uh, it's like they're taking a break almost. They are moving. They're moving around there. And then there's a bunch down at this end. So it just looks like they're in a stasis. Maybe just from all the agitation, they've finally found a new place to live. So there you go. That is the Colony Ant Farm. We do appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing and leaving all the wonderful comments. Check that description for a playlist, too. Later. This video is now over. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here.
And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.